the Ghanaian culture in school, especially, and at home. My mother and father teach me the Ghanaian culture, and I find this thing so difficult about it. Wait, oh my gosh, how did they do it? Congratulations to you, everyone who knows how to do this thing. Okay, this Adowa and this thing. Apojo. What do they call it? What I like most about Ghanaian culture is how we dress, how we eat, how we uh, dance, how we uh, do everything, cook food and do our things, you know. The Ghanaian personalities I remember uh, are um, uh, Kedri Agre, um, Osaj for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, Yasantwa. We ladies are the Yasantwas. The current Yasantwas here. And a lot more. The Ghanaian historical stories I remember is um, Konfanochi and the Golden Stew. I remember Yasantwa fought for us and uh, what's his name? The best six. Yes, I remember that. My favorite Ghanaian meal is fufu and a punching kakra. And a juma kwampisi. Ah, what a she, mama ni, a true, mama kawudzi. My favorite Ghanaian dance is adowa. Adowa is a unique dance such a unique dance and it's very difficult to learn how to dance it it's very difficult look at what i'll do and how they do like they'll do this and they'll do that and kicking king kicking king king and we ting 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 boom ting 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 it's very, very difficult. The Ghanaian proverb I like the most is uh, Maybe I can explain it. I think it means the Siamese crocodiles. You all know Siamese, right? People with one stomach, one everything, just like they are together. Do you know that the Siamese crocodiles, like, fight they fight for food and that's very funny do you know that because they have one stomach what are you fighting for you go into that same stomach guys this is very funny yes it means the siamese crocodiles they share one stomach Yet they so fight over food. I know many Ghanaian children who don't want to learn the culture because they think and when I learn what will I do with it? I'm just learning it. So they just go pick their laptop, just type everything they want and go and sleep. But that's not all. Without your culture you can't do anything, it's true. Without Fanti, you can't speak with a Ghanaian. Without tree, you can't speak with a Ghanaian. Look, you have to learn your culture. Don't focus on someone's own. It's nothing. That's what makes it nothing. But not the culture as in learning it and just living it. If you learn others, that's, that means nothing. And what I'll tell you next is look. Our culture is our pride, our culture is our heritage, our culture is our, our everything, even our roots. So don't say, when I learn this culture, I won't do anything, me no, when it's time for festivals, I don't go, so what am I using culture for? You are using culture to prove your true identity. If you don't have culture, you don't have anything, it's true. So learn it, it's good. Nah, I don't want to catch one day. My
na me si won se chube ya woda o kwe de won se ye in tempo cho africa mba mo po ti che manye no yen da ranye in ti yen som ye na obi anyu a wo som amay in ti yen som ye please let's come together as one great family learn our culture so we can prove our true identity.